There's a group of congressional Republicans who are calling for a second special counsel. As you know, they want the counsel to investigate that decision to end the investigation into Hillary Clinton's personal email server, as well as they want the counsel to look into that alleged FISA abuse that you mentioned by the FBI and the Department of Justice and the progress of the Russian investigation under Robert Mueller. First off, do you agree that we need a second special counsel? And second, what do you think the odds are of that actually happening? Well, we do need a, a special counsel. Uh, look, if Robert Mueller is interested in Russian collusion, perhaps he should try to get the canceled checks where the board members of the Russian energy company gave Hillary and Bill Clinton and the Clinton Foundation $145 million while their bid to take control of 20% of America's uranium reserves was on Hillary's desk for approval. That's an open and shut case of Russian collusion. But we were told in the aftermath of Watergate that no person's above the law. What about Bill and Hillary? We have uh, uh, text messages from Peter Stroke who said Obama wanted to be briefed on everything. So when it comes to the phony dossier, what did Obama know and when did he know it? They're covering up the greatest scandal in American history. In the case of Uranium One, they're covering up the greatest single treasonous financial crime in American history. No, Congressman Matt Gates of Florida is absolutely right. We need a special prosecutor. Here's what should happen. The president should call Jeff Sessions, which is within his authority, and order him to appoint Judge Andrew Napolitano or Andrew McCarthy as a special counsel and say, Jeff, you've got 20 minutes. If you can't do it, if you won't do it, resign. I will have federal marshals accompany you to the curb. We'll seal your office and I'll get an attorney general who will do the job. By the way, my next call is to Rod Rosenstein to fire him. Mr. Rosenstein ran the Uranium One cover-up. He's the main perp as the U.S. attorney in that treasonous crime. We have two crooks running the Justice Department. The fact that Jeff Sessions will not hand over to Congress information regarding the FISA warrant surveillance of Roger Stone, Paul Manafort, and Carter Page uh, is criminal. We have a uh, co-equal branches of government. This stonewalling cannot be accepted. Roger, Roger when we have about a minute. I'm sorry, Gina. We have about a minute left, Roger, maybe a little bit less. I've got a question for you that everybody wants to know. Did you have any questionable conversations, did you receive any improper information from Julian Assange or WikiLeaks? Absolutely, positively not. I had no advanced knowledge of the content, source, or the exact timing of the WikiLeaks disclosures regarding the DNC. There is no evidence to the contrary. When Congressman Adam Schiff says so on television, well, you can always tell when Adam Schiff is lying, his lips are moving. This is an egregious smear. It is false, and I challenge anyone, Chuck Todd, at Meet the Press uh, on Saturday or Sunday included, to show evidence to the contrary. This is an egregious smear, and in all honesty, the question, which I've answered again and again and again, grows tedious. I'm glad you, you raised it so we could dispose of it once and hopefully for all. Thanks, well, Roger. thank you for answering it once again. Yeah, thanks, Roger, Roger. Stone, Appreciate thank it. you so much for your time. Newsmax TV. Watch us on Dish, Direct TV, AT&T UVerse, Verizon Fios, and or download our free app. Don't have Newsmax TV? Call your local cable provider and request Newsmax today.